hi everyone so today we will be training our model on financial data that is a stock market data we have as a data set for time series pred prediction so let's start so as you can see here we are importing three libraries to read our data set and for the plotting of essential matrices and the parameters we're gonna get after our model training so first we are importing our pandas library and second is numpy and third is matplotlib to plot our matrices and our graphs all right so uh, in second thing we are loading our data set through command pd dot read excel and this and we are mentioning our the, the path of our file so we are just taking a data set by giving a command df dot head in which by default it will be taking the first five rows and columns the first five uh, rows of our data set and gonna show that if our data set is correct or not right. so moving further we are just taking the basic information of our data set that is by giving the command df dot info so it will show us the column and the null values or any uh, non null value or the d data type of the or uh, the parameters of our data set so basically we can check any if there is any uh, null value or any zero value just to avoid any further errors in our data set so this is the description of our data set by uh, df describe so we will check the shape of our data set as you can see the shape matters a lot uh, just to avoid any errors after in the further training of our model so here we are we will be implementing uh, two algorithms that is decision tree which is mainly decision tree uh, regressor which is mainly used for time series prediction and we will be checking with another model that is linear regression just to check the, the uh, uh, accuracy or the relation between our dependent and independent variables so we're gonna import some matrices to check our the accuracy and uh, the parameters of our model that is mean square error mean absolute error mean absolute percentage error and we're gonna import accuracy score both from the libraries that is sklearn.matrix sklearn is a library for machine learning so if i have selected two uh, selected one independent and one dependent variable that is uh, mscd and roc so we're gonna predict our mscd by the uh, roc values uh, from our data set so here we are fitting our data set and reshaping it and we are implementing linear regression uh, along with that so after the model fitting and training we've got the real values and predicted values according to our training of the training of our model so you can see the output here and we're gonna plot uh, the graph to get a better visualization of our MACD and ROC values so here you can see uh, the graph is shown here so we will be implementing again a linear regression for on all the variables just to check what kind of output or what kind of model it will be and based upon the matrices li like mean square error and accuracy so here is the code we have fit our model via the command model dot fit and these are the uh, variables we, we have taken these are the feature variables column uh, name uh, we are dropping these all variables or we can say features and we are predicting the CRSI value so here we can see that mean square error is 4.6 and r2 square error is 1 so it's close to 1 but yeah we can check for more cases also which I have done in the later stage so for that model we are uh, plotting a graph actually 
so here you can see this is these are the actual and predicted values so as I mentioned that we're gonna check again with some other parameters oh, so what will be the a good parameter to predict our, our stock prices so here we are again using using a linear regression algorithm and we'll be importing mean square error and r2 square error r2 score uh, oh sorry uh, mean squared error and r2 score okay so here we are dropping these columns that these are basically a uh, character data type so we don't want that in our data set so we are dropping that and we're gonna predict plus dm to all the other parameters or features of our data set we can say and here we are fitting our model and we are uh, using a linear regression algorithm so you can see that <coughs> these are the uh, parameters which are uh, given as output so you can see mean square error is 1.77 and r2 score is 1.0 it means that our model is accurate to a great extent so we will be plotting the again the linear relationship between the values and this is the output of the graph so <coughs> as i mentioned that we will be using decision tree regressor for our uh, training of our model to predict our tar uh, target variable so here we'll be using uh, along with the decision tree we will be using light gbm gradient boosting which is a gradient booster for a decision tree algorithm and we're gonna import it here as lgb and we're gonna import necess necessary libraries for reading of our data set and uh, we're gonna import mean square error and again the train and test train test split function from sklearn model dot model selection for uh, splitting our data set into training set and our testing set okay so this is the command for reading our data set and here i'm dropping the columns which we don't want in our uh, training model because it's a character data type and we're going to predict plus tm indicator uh, from all the features of our data set so here we are splitting the data into 20 percent test size and 80 percent training size and these are the parameters for basically for tuning our model uh, to perform well and uh, we can see I these are all the variables I am storing some values kind of values in that so these are predictions and MSC and R2 score again we are gonna we will be plotting the graph for the same and we will be checking the what uh, what is the MSC score um, MSE and R2 score so here it is you can see that MSEs again after using uh, light GBM gradient boosting we can see that MSE uh, has reduced uh, again and it's uh, almost close to zero okay so and R2 score is almost close to one so we can say that our model is training well and again we have we are we're gonna plot some residuals and outliers uh, based upon our training of a uh, model so these are the commands and we're gonna plot the outliers on a residual plot and you can see that these are the graphs for that and the histogram doesn't look that nice okay so we're gonna for that we we'll be using some other features or we can say the predictor variables uh, oh sorry we can use some other independent variables to predict our predictor variable so here we i have taken uh, the four four features that is macd roc mom and minus tm to predict our plus tm stock indicator okay so again we will be using a linear regression algorithm and after fitting our model we're gonna plot and check the results so here we can see the histogram of residual plot is almost close to zero near to zero so we can see that uh, this uh, these parameters or these features are having a good impact in predicting our plus tm uh, variable 
so coming on to the next thing we gonna plot some z score out layers uh, so this is the code for that and as you can see this this is the output for out layers and variants and this is the blo box plot <coughs> So again, uh, just to clear my doubt, doubt uh, regarding the independent variables. So I have taken all the variables which we, which I was having in my data set for of the stock data set, and I will be predicting a plus TM from all the features. So this is the histogram pl plot of the features. You can see that it's going up to two, and it's not as much close to zero it's close to zero but it's going up to 2 1.5 minus 2 or 1.5 uh, so we can say that it's it's good but the uh, in comparison to previous one it's a bit bit we can say that it's a bit improved model okay so again we will be using a uh, light gbm and there is a gradient boosting for decision tree and we're gonna check the feature importance like what features are ha carrying the most weights for predicting our target variable so this is the code for that and uh, you can see that CRSI is having much weightage and these all features are mentioned here in the feature importance graph and again I have uh, plotted one more feature importance graph to predict our plus dm and if we will be considering all the features of our data set what's will what will be the feature importance so here is the graph for that and plus dm is having the more more weightage so uh one doubt uh, I was having here that maybe the model is having a uh, multi collinearity that's why it's giving the accuracy is coming very high and we don't know for that so for that thing we can check always check the variance inflation factor which is uh, used to detect multi collinearity between the uh, features of our data set so here uh, I have selected some predictor variables so I'm gonna check the multi collinearity be between them so I have tried and tested all the uh, features and these fe and I've come a come up with these features which are having the less uh, least VIF in compar comparison to all other uh, factors so I gonna we gonna be pr proceeding with these features only to predict our uh, target variable or uh, the predictor variable so this is all about that this thing and thank you